I have a feeling there's going to be monsters as soon as I pick this up. Oh no. No, I don't know what that was. Hello and welcome to another indie horror game demo. Today we're playing the demo of Nav. We're playing as a young man who's going off to an abandoned village in Eastern Europe to try to recover an artifact there because it's his only chance at survival from a terminal heart condition. As one does, of course. And uh, there's one catch, though. Something happened to this man years ago when he actually used to live there. And that's really all we know, and that's all that, uh, all that we're really going to get told. But I have a feeling something very, very bad happened. Ah, right, damn heart. Second attack today. No worries, I'll find the cup, sell it, and there'll be money for the surgery. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's right. I'll find the... <laughs> I forgot about that, yeah. He's, he's going to sell the artifact. Because he's like, oh yeah, that's my second heart attack today. And I was watching somebody in the Discord uh, play Death Stranding recently, and there there's a character in there who's like... His name is something stupid like Heartman or something, and he has a very similar gimmick. He has a heart attack every, you know, 20 minutes or some shit. Hello, Misha from the future, from UN93. Glad you remember your treasure. I hope you stop, You haven't stopped collecting the amazing figurines. Did you become an astronaut as you dreamed? And another thing, you married Olia, right? I don't like the way Vadim looks at her. I hope they don't start dating. And that's a green idol. Okay. So what is this thing for? A wooden idol, many of them in the village, but the locals treasured them dearly. Just went in quick and decided to zero out the voices for the characters, because if they're going to speak Russian, I may as well just read the damn thing. But yeah, this was uh, part of the current Next Fest going on, and I've actually been really... I took one look at it and was like, oh, this is really, really interesting, and I've been looking forward to trying it out. So, let's see what's currently hiding around here. I expect something a little walking simmy. I mean, it is made with horror engine, but... Oh, that's a nice touch. That's like a take on an orthodox cross. Alright. How do I get inside of this place, then? Was there a door along the front? Wait, how do we get inside of here? I mean, maybe we just can't, but... Yeah, alright. So, that's probably just, uh... Yeah, that's just the door. I thought, like, oh, maybe that was, like, a fake one and the real one's around there. Alright, so I need to get myself a... Oop, and almost nothing has changed here in ten years. Just overgrown with grass. Yeah, so it's been at least a decade since we've been here. I need to get myself a shovel. I have a feeling going to an old abandoned, probably haunted village and digging up the graves is... not going to endear us to the local spirits. Yeah, more graves. Maybe I'm just, like, too American, but it does feel weird to just be like, Oh, yep, they're in the backyard's the old grave for Grandma. It's like, what? I can't do that without an axe. Alright, so I need an axe and I need a shovel. Where did this junk come from? I can't move it like this. Grandpa had a winch and a handle somewhere. I need to find them to move the car. Oh? And, oh, so this is... actually the thing. Alright, so I need to find a winch reel and a handle. Wait, why? So it's just here? We don't even have to find the winch itself? What the heck is that noise? It sounds like a grinding wheel. That's somebody like... yeah. Is there someone still living here? Eh, yeah, maybe. I mean, I there's not really any story elements told about this. My grandfather's house. My grandmother's house. It's completely run down. The spare key must be around here somewhere. Somewhere, he says, as if it's not just sitting there on the lip of the well. Man, what's... Ooh. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. Graves in the garden. That's how they buried people in our village. All right, I got myself a shovel. Now I got a good thwacking stick in case some monster tries to attack me. Go ahead and I'll bonk it with a shovel. The fudge? What? Why? Why is there a ladder up to here? Hmm. Okay. And it doesn't look like we need to go down into the well. But it does look like we can go into Grandma's house. Okay. Ooh. Hold on, does that have a limit of, uh... Does that have a limit Oh, hello, what the hell is this? Yeah, what the hell is this? Why is this here? That That's my way out, dang it. Alright, hopefully there's no limit on the amount of oil that I can use. I don't see it, but... It doesn't necessarily mean that's not the case. Yep, here we go. Let's just casually go dig up Gramps. No, I think I've always I've always joked about it, but like genuinely, I think 
when I do die, I'm perfectly an idol, but where's the body? Oh, maybe the body is the idol, ooh. Um, I would joke that I want to be cremated, put into a, like, put into a bag and then thrown in the face of someone who sucks. And yeah, I still think I stand by that. I don't really care if you want to, like, bury, I mean, feel free to bury me if somebody really wants to put the effort in. But yeah, go ahead and just, like, throw me into a fire pit and just burn the corpse. And then, yeah, just, like, I don't know, put me into shotgun rounds, like, beanbag rounds. Hi. Uh, hello, person. I'm, I'm sorry for breaking and entering. I promise Grandma used to live here. Huh. Okay. No one back there. Well, there's a little water pump that we can't do anything with. Uh, yeah, so let's... You know what, here. Let, let's just do a be methodical. So what's this say? In darkness reigns Nav, but it fears the light. So I think Nav... Which I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of. I think that's like some sort of a spirit-related... Oh. Fudge, hello. I was gonna say, I think it's something related to like the underworld or the afterlife. What the fudge? Why, why is there just a pile of leaves here? That's just terribly, terribly rude. Alright. No tools here. I need to check the attic or the shed. Found an idol in the garden in front of the house. I know you. Wait, so who wrote that? Yeah, wh where are all of these coming from? Misha, grandfather, and grandmother. They look appropriately Russian. Very grumpy, very... I didn't notice those boards before. Yeah, very, uh... Very just, like, unhappy. Alright, anything... Anything else hiding around here? Keep expecting to look outside. So far, it's a little bit of a slow burn intro, but that's not really a bad thing, per se. And then there's more of this stuff, so what? what is this? We have another problem, Misha. The old apple tree fell on the roof. Made a hole about a meter wide. Grandpa wanted to fix it, but the attic keys are missing and all the tools are up there hidden away. You have to crawl through that hole to get there, for heaven's sake. Alright, and then is this Misha, Olia, and Vadim. 1993. Alright, so this is taking place in a relatively modern time frame. Oh, hello. Ah, yes, the well. Let's, let's definitely go down there. Yeah, because I still need the axe to get that. Can I not just, like, do a... I'm curious what you are. Man, can I not just, like, go, I don't know, vault over the fence? Yeah, like, this looks perfectly climb-throughable, if you're reasonably fit, so not me. And I can't just, like, yank that off? No? Alright. So, the key is up there. Um, where else could I potentially go? Can't climb over that. And then I guess, I mean, this must have happened. Well, I don't know, this must have happened, like, relatively. Okay, find the axe as well. Relatively shortly before it all went to hell, right? I mean, if they just left this up here. Oh, alright, well, in, in the pit we go. Hello. Alrighty there, weird cave monsters. What's hiding down here? Oh, really hope that's not this thing collapsing. In childhood, Vadim Olga and I explored everything here. We didn't even know about these caves. How is that possible? Well, it's because the Morlocks decided to take up residence below Grandma and Grandpa. Grandma used to say that long ago there was a pagan sanctuary here. Could these tunnels be remnants of it? I thought they were just fairy tales. Yeah, probably. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Yeah, I guess old pagan ritualistic bullshit. Uh, right? Oh? Okay, what's with the... Uh, what's with the weird glowy area? Is this where the CIA works? Yeah, probably. Oh, oh I, I think I just saw that and I thought there was like an interact icon. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it's so far, it's definitely a little bit slow. But I'm curious. My god, what was happening here? Well, by the looks of it, human sacrifice. Again, this is, well, actually, to be honest, I should be carrying Mr. Shovel with me at this point. Yeah, I should be getting ready to aggressively bonk anyone who decides to come on out and say hello. Alright, so that's... That's a dead end. I don't like the fact that I'm seeing what appears to be hiding holes. 
Yeah, there's an axe. I'm not gonna grab that yet, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna quite go grab that, because I feel like... Actually, what is... How is my how's my light situation? Pitch fucking black, never mind. Uh, yeah, I want to make sure that... Hmm, go. I have a feeling there's going to be monsters as soon as I pick this up. Oh, no. No, I don't know what that was. Please don't attack me, Mr. Shoggoth. That would be remarkably rude of you. All I've done is I've walked around here and just stolen things and dug up some graves. <clears throat> there we are. Hopefully we don't need to watch that animation every single time, but... Alright, there's nothing there. Really, there's nothing here. Huh. Must be the other way, then. Yeah, must be... Must be through this. Yeah, okay. You know, it's... Uh, don't get me wrong, like, it's nice to see these little animations, but... On a personal level, I'm just not really a huge fan of seeing them every single time we have to do something. Uh, it's something that I actually have been doing a collab of Sons of the Forest with someone recently, which... Again, I promise, someday you guys will see the collab videos. Uh... <laughs> and, uh... One of the things that I remember getting kind of frustrated with is that it makes you watch the animation for every build. Every time you craft something. And it's just kind of like, eh, it's a little unnecessary. Yeah, one day you guys will get to see that, though. Eyes in the darkness. They're back again, watching me. I hear them breathing behind me. They want to catch me. Drag me to the darkness. But they won't take me. You won't take me, Navarelm. I'll ransom myself. Let them... Let them take them all, and I'll stay. Oh, so this is like a straight-up passage to another world. Okay. Oh, uh, ow. Ah, don't slap my ass there, you jerk. What if I turn the others? What others? Oh. Okay. Okay, there's a whole bunch of these. Now I'm curious what exactly it was that just bit me on the ass. And there's like these... There's these little places that... Hmm. Yeah, there's these little like... Graves, I guess you'd say. Curious. Yeah, a little... Little puzzle area. And then if I... Okay, that, that doesn't hurt me to go through, thankfully. Oh. Ooh, alright. Curious. I mean, I'm kind of curious as to what even the point of that is, but... Uh, so then do I go... Go around here. Alright. Well, that, that can only... I mean, so far it kind of seems... This isn't really much of a puzzle, per se. Yeah, I'm wondering when it's going to start being like, oh yeah, there's multiple ways it can go. Alright, so that goes through there. But then it does go to this. And I think this might eventually lead to... Yeah, this leads to here. And we can go... Let's go flip this around and go see. Uh, you're good, so let's turn you a couple times. Turn you. I, I'm operating under the assumption I need to just light every one of these up. I have no idea if that's a correct assumption or not, but... I mean, I, I'm just going to assume so, because... Well, that's just sort of how these games... T oh, God. I just saw that body down there and thought there was something waiting to pounce on me, and I was like, no, thank you, I'm, I'm good without a struggle cuddle. I appreciate it. Oh, I can't sneak by there? Okay. Well, back around we go. So I go to you, and then you give me... If I rotate you a few times... What is that over there? Yeah, I see this, like... Oh, well, that was nice. Yeah, I see this little... artifact. 
Hmm. All right. Curious. More and more curious. Uh, let's go around. You know what I'm getting vibes of too? Lempo. Which I never actually finished off because honestly it just kind of got a little too tedious. Although this game seems like it- Ah, you dickhead. Stop slapping my ass, come on. Look, if you're going to, at least pay money to the OnlyFans. <laughs> the secret OnlyFans that none of you know about? Ha <laughs> ha No, I'm just kidding. If, if I were to start an OnlyFans, I would get immediately banned because nobody needs to see that. Besides, I do like to at least pretend to have integrity. Also, you know, being a man. That that does affect that whole thing a little bit. Uh, okay, so... Bloody Skull. Bloody Skull. What do you say? Bone to bone, red to red. Well, I can take that little thing there. And then let's look around. So there's... There's more of this. Also, what do you guys think that skulls are made of, if not bone? Okay, and then there's more of this. So do I just need to, like... Yeah, do I just need to go... What the heck? What is going on to the top of that surface of blood? That blood pool area? Oh. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I haven't seen one of these puzzles in a while. Don't actually know what exactly I'm trying to do with it, but... Yeah, yeah, go ahead and smack it open. I don't know. Yeah, I, I hope that, like, my comparison to Lempo didn't sound negative, because this is actually kind of cool. Yeah, I'm very happy that we're, like, starting to... Starting to really see a, a push away from... Really a push away from, like, the standard folklore type of stuff. You know, for a while it felt like Scandinavian folklore was getting a lot of love from the survival horror or just horror genre. And then, yeah, there's, uh, there was, like, a game I played a demo of for a bit that had, like, it was Slavic folklore, I believe. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and, that was, and it was kind of cool. I don't remember what the title of the game was. But... Oh, ow. Again, stop that. Hmm. Um, but I don't remember what the title of the game was, but you were like, the, it was in Siberia, and you were like, a member of a family or something. And there was some spooky shit going on. It was actually really kind of, kind of neat. I, I really liked the world they were building, even if the game itself was pretty simple. Definitely had me on edge, though. And yeah, I think it had like some generic Wendigo-looking monster. What the fudge? Oh, hello. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, bruh, normal things don't live under the water here. They don't live in, like, caves underground. You should... you should move. Okay. What... what's happening here? We're... we're I'm, just, I'm just waiting on the jump scare, really. Kinda reminds a little bit of a knocking. Oh, hello. So is that Nav, or whatever the... There's like a woman that's in part of the thumbnail, it's like a ghostly figure. And she doesn't like visitors, I guess. I'm so glad we figured everything out, made up, and know everything is good. Yeah, right, it'll be good when you die. What have you done? We need to get her out. Don't you dare, or you'll go down with it, you bitch. Wait, so did they... Did the one guy kill the girl or something, like his friend? And now she's been stuck down here?
Okay, no, that wasn't me. I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. Yeah, okay, so this guy's just an asshole. He decided to... Oh, Jesus. He or Vadim or whatever his name was killed the girl because he was like a spurned lover. To hell with it all, I need to get out of here. That's not good. Nope, we're gonna keep that closed. Uh, there's that there. Anything else hiding up around here? Honestly, I kind of expected the game to end there. Mildly impressed that it decided to keep on going, even if just a little bit longer. Kind of loving the uh, vaguely penumbra e vibes of this place, too. Well, not gonna be sad that I'm outside, that's for damn sure. And now what's happening? Oh, that was weird. Yeah, that thing just like clicked out, and I thought that maybe that was the game being like, yep, nope, there's something out here eating the darkness. Damn, how am I gonna get out now? I don't know, you're gonna hike, maybe? Go for a walk? You're Russian, you're probably reasonably fit. It's a shame I remember exactly who had it. I'll have to search the whole village. Wait, it's a shame you remember who had it? Wouldn't it be a shame you don't remember? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh god. Hello. Well, anyway, uh, let's go get the stuff around here. Yeah, so let's go. Let's go dig. So I guess we're, yeah, we're looking for, like, the winch and the other thing. So yeah, there's some, there's a monster at play here. Okay. So there's one. I wonder if we're going to end up being punished for digging up too many graves if we take too long. That wouldn't be super fair, because I don't know of a way to, like, check, but at the same time, I mean, it would kind of make sense, right? The restless spirits and all, they're like, yeah, we don't really like being dug up, so... If you could not... Hey, sport! Hmm. Interesting, so is that the creature? Is that the thing that I could have maybe seen earlier? Yeah, is that the thing that I maybe would have, like, seen stalking around? I I'm going to imagine that I need to get something from the attic of the house. I mean, it's only logical, right? That was a nice little effect, though. I like that. Seeing, like, the creature there and kind of, like, roaring, and then it, like, snapped its neck towards me and then started scrambling. Yeah, that was very well done. All right. Well, let's continue. Uh, do I want to... I'm trying to remember how far isn't yeah, this is the intersection I needed to go to. Oh. What's the what's the little wisp? You're leading me off into the creepy woods. No thank you. I know enough about the fae and fairy types and all this stuff. What the goddamn hell? Okay, game, so help me, if you tell me there's, like, giant spider demons, I'm taking back all the good things I said about you earlier. Alright. Well, yeah, let's go check out the little garage area. Yeah, is that, like, an impenetrable force field, or is that just supposed to be a fog effect? Okay, knock out one board. I'm trying to think, when is the last time I actually saw, like, a proper board like that? And, I mean, I genuinely can't think... Can't think of it ever. Because, like, here it's just, it's all 2x4s and stuff, right? Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, so what? what is the point of this place? Is there anything hiding in here at all? Oh. Oh, there we go. Alright. So that's the handle to the reel. Yeah, I can go ahead and we can get the... We can go ahead and, like, crank the winch, but what about... Oh, okay. So that's just, like, a fog effect. I hope. I sincerely hope. Hey, you guys want to have a fucking nightmare? There's a piece of art out there of, um, basically, like, a giant spider having turned a house into a giant nest. Even just thinking about it sends a massive shiver down my spine, but it's a really well-done piece of art. And, uh, yeah, would... If you want, like, a really good, creepy vibe... Would highly recommend it. Okay. So they said... Didn't they say tools and stuff were up here? Grandma, were you lying to me just to get me to come visit? Oh no, there we go. 
Oh. The hell? Oh, there's like an all black body. Okay, so I need, I have the reel, I have the handle. I want to go back, well, God, I mean, yeah, if that's there then, then I guess I actually want to go back, uh, well, you know what, first off, Spooky Wisp was leading me somewhere. Kind of wanted to go see what's up here, but I want to go back to that one house that was first blocked off. Oh, hello. All right, never mind, that looked like a one-way trip for me. Yeah, let's go back to the house that was blocked off. I kind of thought that, like, that would be the first area that would have something. Yeah, I was trying to get rid of that. Uh, or to avoid opening it, rather. So if I go into here, is there even any, is there going to be anything in here then? And I've gotten, what, like four or five of the idols? Which makes me wonder what exactly they're for and if I've missed any more of them. So let's go dig up the grave. Very weird that there's no bodies in here at all. Were all the bodies, like, stolen by the pagans or something? Was this just cover? Yeah, cover to keep the authorities at bay? Yeah, maybe. I remember, she lived here. My Olia. Alright, so this dude was simping pretty hard. Oh, hello. He's like, what's blocking me? Nope, just an oddly sturdy log. Yeah, so they, they killed the girl. One of them killed the girl. Either we did because we are, like, super spurned and aggressive, or the other guy did because she chose us. Not sure exactly how, or exactly who, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, can I get into there then? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's clearly a- oh, I can. That's actually more concerning, because that suggests that there is... That suggests that there's a reason to be in here. What's this? A note. And Marfa says that if Nav comes, we need to perform a ritual. First, the ancient stone places five idols on them at the five centers. The ancient force will burst out and Nav will calm down. Oh, hi. Okay, you know what? That was a nice little effect. Her dad, a drunk, lived like a stray dog and died the same way. That's what I don't feel sorry for at all. We found and activated the stone, but we finished the ritual in time while we're still alive. I don't know. I mean, so was this place just having problems when everyone lived here? Vadim scares me. He's convinced himself that I'm cheating on him. What an idiot. He's my first and only. I only talked to him and Misha. Well, today he seemed to thaw out. We're going for a walk in our usual spot by the river. Okay, so they did. They did. Yeah, Olia's room at 16, I would have been, I would have given anything to be here with her together. And lately I've been noticing that Misha's been looking at me strangely. But that's probably nonsense. After all, he's my friend and he knows that I only love Vadim. Although Vadim has also been acting weird lately. He's been moody all week and hasn't talked to me. And yesterday out of the blue, he invited me on a boat ride this weekend. What the hell am I saying? He invited me on a boat ride in the evening. Very romantic, I think we'll make up. Yeah, that's the problem with these small places. Dear Diary, today Vadim invited me on a date by seven at the river. I'm terribly nervous and Misha's been acting sad all day, as if he's not happy for us. And there's another thing bothering him. Yeah, that's one of those things that, like, I know that it's... You know, one of the best pieces of advice for somebody who's ever looking for a relationship is, like, be friends with someone and relationships happen naturally. The problem with that advice is that it ends up creating situations like this. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's how we're gonna winch it. Okay. And then we go crank it. See, the thing is that I don't know what which way to go. Find an ancient silver cup from pre-Christian times. Should I be going this way or should I be going over towards the... Over towards the place that has the wisp? Like, that's that's where I don't know. I don't want to miss out on contact. This is actually kind of engaging. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's, again, very walking sim-y, but... It's, it's doing enough right. Okay, so this is the... Oh. Oh, okay, I can... I can maybe get out of here then. Alright, so let me... 
All right, there we go. So I just need to get the... Oh. Oh, no. All right, I should probably get out of here. I think I may have made a mistake. Yeah, I should definitely get... Did I just fuck everything up? I think I might have just fucked everything up. Yeah, I, I should go get the cup instead. Well, yeah, this guy with his, like, heart condition or whatever. Alright. What's through here? The fudge was that? Also, it's very weird that, like, stuff renders in at a distance, and when I get closer, it goes away. Like, I've had to sort of chop down the graphics a little bit. It's, like, medium-high-ish. I understand. They lured me here. They want to punish me. But I'm not guilty. She knows it wasn't me. Hmm, yeah, but maybe you, for not stopping or trying to save her or something, she blames you. Maybe I went crazy? Well, if I'm lying in a cozy mental hospital right now, wrapped in a strat jacket, and all the stuff that I'm seeing is delusion... <clears throat> well, maybe I'm in a hospital. They've already done the damn operation on me. I'm coming out of anesthesia in the ward and having hallucinations. What am I saying? This only happens in second-rate horror movies. Too bad it would have beautifully explained all this nonsense. Yeah, I mean, this guy is remarkably chill about all the spooky shit happening. I remember this hut. Vadim used to live here with his Aunt Marfa. She was considered a witch in the village. So perhaps the cup is with her. That's not a good place to be invading. Oh, yep, there we go. Grandmother Martha. Martha or Marfa? Vadim's room. I spent more time here than at my own home. It used to seem cozy. But now it's scary. Did I just see a little hand pop up there? I thought I did, but... Oh. Wait, what? Did I just, like, completely miss a doll? Am I that tired? Oh. That's not good. Oh, this is doubly not good. Uh, Grandma Marfa, I think I may have eaten something I shouldn't have. It was the weird jar of mushrooms labeled Nightshade. Marfa. <clears throat> no, I lost track of time. I got scared, but that's not a crime. Hmm, I think it might be. Oh, hello. Oh, and then we go on down into here. And now we're back at the start. Yeah, God, I must be absolutely exhausted if I just missed a doll sitting there. I need to open the door, and to do that, I need to find a key. More and more curious. Alright. Well, anyway, let's continue onward. I remember these dolls, and Marfa called them talismans to reveal the truth. Yeah, and then every time we grab one, it's like there's some other spooky shenanigans going on here. I'm suspecting that we killed the girl. I don't know, it... I mean, like, Vadim, to back in this room again, no, I must be going crazy. This is just my imagination. Yeah, um, I mean, like, it didn't seem like Vadim was having some problems, but... I don't know, I'm, I'm suspecting that we were the killer. But I think that there is enough evidence to point both ways. Well, I guess we can call it... You know what we'll do? We'll call it Sherlock Holmes tier evidence. Where it's truly just like abject fucking conjecture masquerading as proof. Okay. There's a third one. And what... Ooh, hello. A nice little imagery. This is actually a nice little area. I quite like the look of this. It's definitely... Oh. The fudge? There's, like, people dolphining in and out of the water. And then we go back here. So, where else could I... Ooh. What's the... Ah, a key. Of course. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Does this thing somehow have, like... A light for a head? This is a nice little moment, actually. I like this. 
Yeah, it's a nice... Nice spooky little vibe. Reminds me of some of these, like, alien abduction horror games I've been playing. So now where? I guess I just take this and I run like hell? Key seems to be from the house. And do I just book it the fuck out of here? No, but I didn't find, uh... Yeah, I still haven't found the little mug, have I? <coughs> ah, hello there. What was your name? Bolia? Hmm. And then we just get blinded. Alright, well there we go. So that was the demo of Nav. That was actually really fun. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Uh, yeah, developer, nice work. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to playing the full game of this. Definitely was, it was a little slow at times, but it never really fucks the player about, except for when it's like... Except for maybe the animations, maybe speed them up a little bit. Or just have us, like, give each board one whack. Um, yeah. But no, like, the fact that we can move pretty quickly and interact with stuff, and... And it's not like insta-kill enemies. This this is kind of how if you're going to do like a horror walking sim, I think this is how you should do it. So yeah, uh, developers, nice job. Keep it up. And I'm actually really looking forward to the full game. So thank you guys very much for hanging out and watching the demo of Nav. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know how you felt about this one. And I look forward to seeing you all in another video very soon.